Pokemon collectors and investors, today we're going to do a deep dive on the Galarian Gallery from Crown Zenith. We're going to be focusing on lower value cards that have a lot of upside potential room to move in the future. I, if you guys aren't familiar, I've been doing some Trainer Gallery deep dives, so now we're just moving into the Galarian Gallery. Uh, it's obviously, Crown Zenith is a crazy awesome set. Let's just jump right into it. Obviously, we have the big dogs up here. We're not going to focus on them too much, but... I mean, you know, the Giratina 130, you know, you can see the, these gold cards and the Mewtwo uh, taking off right now. I just want to talk about where I think that some of these cards can go and where I'm putting my money and where you guys might be able to pick up some some good discounts, okay? So on this first page is TCG player sorting uh, high to low, and I don't think currently, I do think that a lot of these... Uh, pickups will still be good and there is a lot of room to run on a lot of these cards especially the dogs I still think that these have room uh, where they're at but I want to focus on a few other cards that I think have more room more upside and are undervalued first off I want to take a look at this Deoxys I do have this card in a PSA 10 saw a little price increase right up from around ten dollars to like 17 ish this card is a really great looking card, right? Legendary. Um, I really like this artwork. Love it in person. Looks way better in person. I think that uh, currently you're seeing sales. Um, let's pull up the full full uh, last solds here on TCG player. 15 and some high as 20, right? I think that when you start to take a look at this card, I could see this as time goes on getting up into that $30 range, 30 35 Um and these cards are selling, I believe, over a hundred dollars in a ten. I think there are around like one twenty ish, one fifteen maybe. So I think that there's lots of room uh, on this card for potential upside just because of the Pokemon. And then when you talk about Deoxys again, same thing. I mean, all of these cards are having an uptick here, but you're seeing this card, you know, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen bucks. I think that um, I have this one in the PSA 10 as well, graded, uh, got it graded. And I think that this card has a, a lot of upside um, room to move. Like if I had to estimate, you know, I could see this being maybe at least in the 20s, 25, you know, near future. I'm not talking like long term, like years down the road. But uh, another really great looking card that I think is underrated is this Zacian V. And Let's see, so this card hasn't seen too much of a, a price increase, but one of the legendary mascots of the Sword and Shield era, obviously, with the sword, and, and you know, we're at 11, 12 bucks right here. I think that, once again, these pictures don't do these cards justice because I have this card in a 10 as well. This card looks way better. All these cards look way better in person, right? So I, that just goes without saying, but I think, you know, at this price of 10 bucks, I could see this easily at least becoming 15 to 18 dollars um, in the near future. The more Crown Zenith that sells out and gets ripped, um, I could see this. I could see this going up, having a little bit more of a run. Um, it was at that price before. You know, a year ago, we were at 16 dollars. So I could see it surpassing that uh, and in hitting 18, but at least 15 dollars. So if you're picking up those up, 10 dollars right now. And you get it, and then it goes up to 15, you're at 50% gain. So that's pretty big percentage wise, depending on how many copies you're picking up. Let's talk about okay, so all of these cards, pretty much all of these cards right here, we'll pull up these, um, pull up these three right here. I think that these are all undervalued. Obviously, we're seeing an increase on, on this uh, Luminion. The artwork is great. As you can see, it's been pretty consistent, kind of fluctuating in this little this little price. Not the most popular Pokemon, but this art is really good. I don't see a huge uptick for price in this one in the future, but um, I do see that this slowly taking off over time just a little bit. Maybe not the, the biggest potential gains on this. This card, however, and you're, we're seeing an uptick. They all are. I think that... Uh, actually, this is interesting. So some of the last solds... One of the last solds was 20 bucks. Somebody bought it lightly played for 20 That's interesting. Anyway, six fifty seven bucks. Um, you can still pick this up for around that price, seven bucks near mint. So, even though there's some high sales, this is 
more like a seven to eight dollar card this artwork is really great pretty popular decently popular pokemon you know i think um i could see this going and doubling being at around the 15 dollar range i don't see why not especially as time goes on so that'd be a pretty big increase there same thing zamazenta you got the shield get your uh, shield dog seeing some increases um near mints last sold you know over here eight bucks kind of the same scenario i could see this being a 15 dollar card so there's plenty of upside there if you guys want to load up on those um the reggie i'm not too big on we're gonna pass on that card not that there's anything wrong with it, it is a nice looking card but this page is where we really start to see the huge uh potential upsides here so zorora obviously is a popular pokemon Simisir, I'm, I'm going to pass on that one, but we're going to take a look at these cards right here. So, the Zorora is going for, you know, around 7 to, well, let's pull this up and see. 7 to 10 bucks, depending um, on where you're getting it. And same thing, I like this artwork. I love this artwork, actually, with you got the, uh, I think, what is this, Pachirisu, I think, is this Pokemon? Anyways, he's chilling on his head. It's, this is a really great artwork. Uh, pretty popular Pokemon, like I said before. Uh, same thing, I could see this being a uh, $15 card in the future, minimum. So, uh, huge, that's, a, that's a huge percentage gain. So, there's that. This card, this card used to be really cheap. Um, remember, I pulled this a long time ago. But uh, let's pull up the one year. Yeah, so, I mean, it's been fairly consistent. And... A little bit of growth not a ton of growth but once again this is a cool artwork maybe not the most popular pokemon but once people start trying to complete this set you know these these cards are going to go up i could see this being maybe 10 to 12 so maybe not the biggest percentage gains um on this one unless you're getting it at six dollars in which you know that'd be like doubling depending same thing with this card uh, I, I have this one in a 10. I like this artwork. You got the, uh, you got multiple Pokemon on here, which is cool. And this one's shown a pretty steady, a steady uptick, but you know, I can see this once again, near future, 10, 12 bucks, plenty of room on this. It, it's a cool looking card. Then this card, I think honestly has probably the most upside in my opinion of all of the cards, just because of what you're seeing here. You got the cutie flies, the rookity, the ponyta, you know, like Nidoran over here. There's just like the deeper you look, the Cramorant, like it's just an absolutely adorable card, right? So we're looking at in like the five to six dollar range currently. I could see now this is not a guarantee, you know, I'm not saying for for sure, but I could see this being a twenty dollar card. I don't know how long it would take to get to that point. But just because of the, this artwork and, you know, it's just, that's what I could see. 15 maybe at the worst case, which would be tripling. I could picture this card quadrupling slowly over time. Um, but I, that's what it's like at five bucks guys. Okay. So let's say it only, let's say I'm wrong and it just goes to 10 and it doubles. Okay. You guys doubled your money. So if you're loading up on these cards, you know, even, even going to $7 and 50 cents, you're getting good percentages so I, I i could see it you know i'm not saying that any of this is guaranteed or anything like that but i just wanted to just want to be a little uh, forthcoming about my thoughts on this then obviously this pikachu card uh once again same same thing right it's got upside i think this um i could see this being more around mm, between five and eight but if you're picking it up around three plenty of room on this card as well it's a great great card right awesome looking art one of the most popular pokemon goes without saying uh let's see all of these you know the the badoof and the manaphy but uh, i think they have a little bit of room as well over time but i i do like the lapras and also this deoxys let's talk about this so you can see the chart on the Lapras, you know, it's gone up a little. If you're picking this up in the $3 range, once again, absolutely stunning card. I know some people might not, might, ugh, excuse me, might not like the yellow borders, but you guys have to remember that over time, the yellow borders are going to become nostalgic, right? This is the last set with yellow borders, and we have all these Pokemon in the background. 
So this uh, this card, once again, I can see this card being around ten bucks, eight ten bucks. You're picking up at three. You're doing real good. So I just like to look at some of these sets, and I've been doing it with the trainer galleries, and this one's you know seventy cards deep, so it's got a lot of depth. So same thing with this Deoxys. It just is going to piggyback off the other ones, and I like everything that's going on with this fusion strike single strike rapid strike he's throwing he's got a lot going on two dollars are you kidding me i'm gonna say maybe five dollars right so you're over doubling potentially so uh i don't once again i don't know the time frames on any of these but that's just just something that i've been thinking about same with a, like a lot of the other cards that i'm not even touching on i think that all of these cards have potential over time to kind of do that that same thing but let's talk about some of these lesser cards here we're getting into some real affordable cards here which is nice and of these if we're just looking at this from like an artwork perspective there's a few that pop out to me and i would go maybe not the most popular pokemon but you know gen 2 mareep if you're getting this at a dollar like a dollar guys Somebody's going to want to pick this up at two bucks, three bucks down the road. So, plenty of upside. You can get a lot of copies. Um, I like this Mareep. Once you start really trying to be very critical, though, all these cards are, all these cards are great, right? The artwork, the artworks are really good. I also want to point out something here. Like, so we'll take this card for example. It, if you can, so I did grade one of these recently and sold it for like forty bucks. Or maybe it was 38. Anyways, I ended up making, I think the profit after fees and everything was like 12 or 13 bucks grading this card and selling it. This is a 70 cent to a dollar card, 60 cent, 40 cent, whatever, right? A dollar. If you can get copies of this, and let's say over time that this goes up to a dollar card, you're making money. And then if you're grading copies, like there's plays to be had there. People are People want these sets. And believe it or not, people want these sets in PSA 10s. Like, there's tons of people out there. So just keep that in mind. Um, pretty much all of these cards, I think, would be good pickups. The, the Paris here, um, we saw an interesting spike right here up to uh, $2. What does it look like on the one year? Yeah, so it, it has been apparently as high as two ninety one. I don't know if that was like a weird sale there, but... The Paris is adorable. Once again, 50 cent card, 70. Like I could see this being well over a dollar into the $2 range just for the Gen 1 nostalgia. Paris doesn't get a lot of love, so, you know, this is uh, potentially down the road, you know. And I think, you know, it's kind of the same, like I said, the same sentiment for all of these, but I didn't want to touch on this card. I do like this. This Toxtricity is cool. Um, you got lots of Pokemon in the background here, and I like the vibe of this card. Not sure how popular this Pokemon is, honestly, but, um, you know, I wouldn't be hesitant to pick, if you're picking up this card, see the sale right here? If you're picking this up at 42 cents, multiple copies, or let's say, you know, even in the 70 cents, you know, that's kind of where they're at here, 90 cents, anything sub a dollar, you know, I could see this being a dollar fifty, two dollars down the road, uh, depending, you know, as time goes on. So, and you never know, once again, with some of these cards, what's really going to pop, uh, what's going to become popular from a different card taking off, a, a creator pumping something. You never know. But honestly, I think that a lot of these cards are really, really good values. And I just wanted to touch on the Glaring Gallery. We'll get back to the Trainer Galleries and some of my other uh, videos, you know, coming after this. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. just wanted to touch on the... The, the glaring gallery sorry this one was a little bit longer 70 cards deep i tried to touch on obviously we didn't touch on everything but if there was something that you saw that i didn't touch on that you're like this is a sleeper like you should have talked about this let me know in the comments and also if you're this far in the video you obviously enjoyed it so i would appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button hit the thumbs up while you're there i'll catch you guys in the next one and remember it was never a phase